you have to understand, I think the, the biggest thing that people never really grasp is there's more photosynthesis and more oxygen production goes on in the seas than goes on on land. And so that very, very basic, the, the algae that live in the sea are so fundamental to the health of the planet. But as we see increased levels of carbon dioxide and the water becomes more acidic, we will start to lose some of that plankton from the water as it becomes more acidic. Warmer water doesn't hold as much oxygen, so that's another issue that we're facing. Do you know, it's, it's almost disheartening that 30 odd years ago when I was in the university, we knew climate change was coming. Um, and I think in years to come, and it's already started, the energy companies will be judged as harshly as we judged the tobacco companies for carrying on selling cigarettes, even though the link to lung cancer was absolutely clear. They have known about the change that they've been driving since the early 1970s and then into the 80s as well, and they have systematically hidden that information. But I think then the big problem has come that we've relied on politicians to come up with the solutions. And for most politicians, you are only as good as the time until your next election. And that means that you tend to take more of a short term view and taking the bigger steps that we need, clearly need to take now to, to avert absolute climate disaster is going to take some bravery from the current politicians. Just tomorrow.